okay hi guys so let's continue from the previous lecture so we were doing this example so let's do the second example we have something like uh, chloro cyclohexane and we reacting it with aqueous KOH okay so which type of reaction will take place and obviously we have something like OH here so this is a standard SN2 example okay next we have R2 bromobutene and this actually reacts with NAI acetone but now we have something like this okay so which type of reaction is this oh uh, just a uh, just a correction here we have R 2 bromo butane okay and this uh, gets converted into NA in presence of acetone again this is a standard of uh, standard SN2 example because there is no polar protic solvent and the substitution is taking place hence SN2 is out, SN1 is out of the picture hence only substitution reaction which can take place is SN2 okay so we have something like this and we reacting it with KCN and we found out we have this compound again SN2 we have good nucleophile no hydrolysis or no solvolysis hence SN2 is only going to take place we have something like this and we are taking Kl plus SH minus and we are again converting that into K PH2 PH CH2 SH again this is an example of SN2 no solvolysis we have but we have good nucleophile we have something like this and reaction is ha happening in presence of alcoholic KOH and we heat it and the product form is something like this then uh, now this is an example of E2 reaction okay had it been aqueous KOH it was an and no heat and it was it, it would have been OH uh, which have been substituted which would substitute the position of BR hence it would be a SN2 example okay we have something like this and we have Na and H2 now what will happen is we have a good nucleophile or good base rather and formation of double bond here again an example of E2 reaction we have something like 2 chlorobutane and we react it with ETO minus and we heat it what will happen is we'll get something like this again this is an example of E2 why a strong base uh, strong base and we heat it also we have something like this in the presence of again strong base we heat it we'll get something like this this is an example of again E2 reaction okay I'm sorry in the previous example we will have something like double bond character here not here because we have to identify the major compound that would also be a half uh, Hoffman product but that's not the major product in this case or is it the major product in this case yes it is a major product in this case I did not make a mistake I was just kidding why because it's a bulk, big bulky group okay Now let's look at another example wherein we have something like this and we have ETOH here this is again solarlysis and we get something like this here OET then this is an example of clearly SN1 because for SN2 we need a strong nucleophile 
okay now let's see what happens for this case we have something like this and again we have eth and we hit it then we get something like this obviously this is a hoffman product because of steric hindrance reasons and this is now an example of even reaction let's look at this compound we have something like this we are passing it in ETOH and we are heating it what will happen we'll have something like oh uh, actually in this case uh, it uh, there will be a carbocation formation here and the bond would be between this and this it will still be a surge of product this is wrong there is no steric hindrance in this case okay here we will be having the double bond okay now here we will be getting something like this again this is a even mechanism and lastly we do have this ETOH we heat it now we will be getting something like this again this is an example of even reaction ok next we have something like this and we are reacting it with moist AG2O so what would happen we will have something like this as a major product why because we are not hitting it and if you are hit not hitting it even an E2R out of the question ok and would this be a major product I guess no why because uh, we'll, we'll, we are actually first having a soluble lysis here so SN1 is the correct answer that would be here ok next we would have something like this when actually AG plus OH minus attacks on or first AGBR and BR AGBR minus and AG plus AGBR minus and BR minus would have a precipitate and this will be formed next what will happen is ring expansion will take place and we would have something like this oh it's not a five member ring uh, we would have something like this and a positive charge here ok so next what will happen is OH minus will attack on this we will get something like this this would be a major product not this ok let's look at our second last example for this lecture we would have something like this and H plus and we heat it what will happen is the oxygen will take this and we heard something like this then obviously we will have a positive charge here and we are also heating it hence this hydrogen will be removed from this carbon atom and we would have a double bond here so this would be our product so what type of reaction is this E1 ok now let's look at the last example we have something like this and we are reacting it with Al2O3 and we are heating it so what would be the product formed in this case again the product formed in this case would be 
something like this okay and this is an example of e2 reaction no solubilizes there and uh, oh and h are getting uh, removed from the this compound and forming a alkene hence it's a e2 reaction okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture next lecture we'll be seeing some more examples till then good luck and goodbye